Welcome back to Nerf Science, I am Captain Xavier, and today I'm going to be doing something I don't often do, which is a potentially destructive test. I'm going to take something and push it to its very limits to see at what point it fails so I know exactly what it can take. And what I'm going to be testing is this, the prototype of my homemade rocket design. I've been working on these for a while now. The hope is if I can make them good enough, I will actually sell them to make up for the fact that I'm hoarding all the Titan rockets in the world. Um, entirely homemade, made from parts that are readily available. I'll have videos on how I made it and how you can make it and make everything that is possible available. But they will also hopefully be being sold through Out of Darts at some point. But today we're going to see what can it take, because if it's not durable enough, I'm not going to sell it. If it's going to fail after seven shots or it's going to fail during normal usage, that's not something I'd want to sell, and that's not something out of darts would be willing to sell. So today we're going to put it through the ringer. I'm going to fire it a couple of times with what is it, what's it intended to be fired with, which is a Titan, and then I'm going to fire it off of something that has a lot more power, and we will increase the power and see at what point this thing finally fails and, you know, the, the walls rupture or the head blows off or whatever. Um, if at all. If it doesn't, that'd be fabulous. If it does fail, well, then we'll know, so... Here we go. Normal usage is for it to be fired off a modified Titan. Rather than core out the pool noodle and, and lower the structural integrity of the body, I instead am going to in, uh, recommend that you re-chamber the Titan. This part will also be available. The, this part is printable, it's available on Thingiverse. This is just one inch PVC. Um, fits on there beautifully. Let's pump it up and see what happens. Well, it didn't explode. I wonder what kind of range we got. I'll be right back. Right, that came in at a very respectable 68 feet. And as you could see in the video, fired straight. Let's try it again. Go check it out again. We picked up five feet. That one came in at a very nice 73. Let's try it once more and see if we can hit that 75. Oh, I think we just might have. Let's take a look. One foot short. It came in at 74, but uh, that is still really good. And it landed on the tape. That is how nice and straight these fire. All right, let's try something with a bit more oomph. For oomph, we have the Jericho with my custom rocket post shell. And, uh, we're going to give it a fire or two with this. We're going to start at 20 PSI and we're going to go all the way to 110 PSI in increments of 10 because uh, 110 is what the designer recommends uh, be the maximum. So we're going to do it in increments of 10 and see when the rocket finally explodes. I've got it at 20. Let's pump it up. Give it a shot. All right. Let's go see how far 20 sent it. All right, with 20 PSI, we only got 56 feet, which is less than we got with a Titan. So we're gonna crank it up to 30 and see what we get there. Oh, definitely got more range with that. Let's go take a look. By adding those 10 PSI, we gained an additional 31 feet to come in at 87. Very nice. Let's try it at 40. Oh, that went. Let's go take a look. Right, well, 40 PSI got us to 101 feet, which for a Titan rocket is amazing. Let's see what 50 can do. Let's go. Oddly, that came in a little less. That came in at 97. So we may be entering the realm of diminishing returns where adding more power doesn't actually get us anything. Or I might not have had it at the optimal angle. There is still a human element as I am holding the launcher. I could have set up something where I was held at a perfect 45, but I wanted to shoulder it. So we're at 60. Let's see what we can get. Yeah, I think I must not have had it at the right angle because that definitely went farther. Let's go see what 60 got us. It seems that gains are still to be had. At 60 PSI, we got to 120 feet. So I probably just didn't have it at the right angle. Let's try 70. So far, there has been no 
apparent damage to the rocket, so we're gonna keep going until it uh, fails. So let's try 70. Gorgeous. Let's go take a look. Going to 70 only gained us about two feet. We came in at about 123. Let's try uh, 80 uh, PSI. Let's go. Back down to 121, so we may have reached the limits of what we're gonna get out of this particular ammo. Uh, but it hasn't ruptured yet, the head hasn't blown off, the sides haven't ruptured, no damage to the rocket, so we're gonna keep going. We are at 90 PSI, let's see what we get. That might have gotten a little bit more range. Let's go take a look. Nope, 121 again, but still no damage to the rocket. So let's try 100 PSI. Let's go take a look. We got a little bit there. We came in at 129. We are now at 110 PSI, which is the max that the designer recommends this blaster be taken to. So if this doesn't damage the rocket, then the rocket is good. Let's give it a go. 110 PSI. Oh, that definitely got some extra range. Let's go take a look. Right, it survived. That last one came in at about 130, so we didn't actually gain that much. Honestly, I don't think I would ever run this past 40 PSI. Not because I'm worried that it would rupture, but because it just isn't worth the, uh, the trade-off. At 40 FPS, it pumps fairly quickly. To get up to the 100 PSI, it takes a lot more time for the thing to pump and you're not gaining that much range. You're going from 40 to 100, you only gained 20 feet. Um, and that's, I mean, I can't imagine anything where I'd need more than a 100 foot range with a Titan rocket. I'm not sure even in Titan ball, I'd ever wanna make that shot, but you could. And that's the thing is that if you notice the deviation was not that far from the center line, um, it is remarkably accurate. I'm gonna take it back down to 40 and see if I can drop it on the post again. Here we go. A little to the right. But that, that will do. So stay tuned for more about the rockets when they are available or if they will become available. Also the shells and the adapters and all of that. Stay tuned. This has been Nerf Science. What would you like me to test next? Thank you for watching.